Breaking news on a possible vaccine for RSV. Pfizer just releasing data on trials for a shot for pregnant women to combat the respiratory illness that is hitting children so hard nationwide. Ariel Reshef is outside of a children's hospital here in New York with the latest. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Amy. RSV is the leading cause of child hospitalizations in this country, and for decades, scientists have been trying to develop a vaccine. Pfizer saying that if it is approved, this shot will be a game changer. This morning, hope on the horizon. A vaccine for the respiratory illness RSV in babies is in the pipeline. So this is a tremendous breakthrough. Pfizer says its vaccine is safe and effective, showing promising results in early studies. 82% efficacy in preventing severe sickness during the first 90 days of life and 69% efficacy through the first six months. RSV uh, infects everyone, but among young children, the most vulnerable are those in the first few months of life. We have a high probability now of protecting against serious illness and hospitalization. The more traditional protein-based vaccine would be given to pregnant women in the late second to third trimester in one shot. Expectant moms passing those antibodies to their babies. RSV has a significant impact in our pediatric population with over 50,000 hospitalizations each year in kids under the age of five. And the news comes as children's hospitals from coast to coast are feeling the crush with a combination of infections, including respiratory illnesses like the flu and RSV. About 76% of the nation's 40,000 pediatric hospital beds are full, with eight states reporting more than 90% of their pediatric beds are occupied. Mackenzie Michael says her three-month-old son Everett was in the hospital for four days after contracting RSV. It was pretty scary, you know, sitting there watching him breathe. I'm just glad we got it as early as we did or it could have been worse. Though the new vaccine won't be available in time to quell the current wave, the FDA and CDC could sign off for the 2023 season. And Pfizer says that more than 7,400 women in 18 countries are enrolled in this ongoing years-long study. They also say the data is promising for this same vaccine for people 65 and older, and they hope to expand it to other age groups in the future. George. Okay, Ariel, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.